Yes, it is all happening now. I can almost taste the excitement in the air. It's match day, minus one. We are finally at home for the next few weeks. Now, I've got an amazing show in store for you today. I've got Mary Ertz live from Manchester right before she hits that training ground and Lioness's legend, Laura Bassett. This is Lioness's Live, connected by EE. <laughs> Yes, hello, I'm Joella Noble. Welcome to Lionesses Live, connected by EE. E. Now this amazing person to my left is presenter, DJ, and all-round legend, Abby McCarthy. Oh, what an intro, thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome, you deserve it. No, I don't even want it, Abby. Oh, so good to see you. That's right, it's so good to see you too. Now, you may recognize this set behind us because this is the same set that we had at St. George's Park, but we do have something very special coming up for you. But we are gonna wait until the squad arrives and we're gonna do the whole big reveal thing. You just wait for it, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Abby, I'm very excited to see you. We've reconnected. This is good times. How are you feeling about the kickoff tomorrow? We've waited so long. I know, we've waited so long. I'm getting those pre game nerves, but I'm so excited as well. I love getting stuck into like a major tournament and the fact that it's a home Euros as well, feeling really good about this team. It's just so exciting, isn't it? Yes, and I mean, we've seen the promo, the billboards. I mean, I saw Leah Williamson just projected onto Tower Bridge the other day. Yeah, casual. Also, Lucy Bond's doing up Battersea Power Station as well. I mean, how great is it that the whole country is just behind this squad? Yeah, it does feel like the excitement's spreading across the country, doesn't it? Their names are up in lights on iconic buildings like that. And these players are icons. It feels like they're really getting the recognition that they deserve. And yeah, let's just hope they can go all the way. A hundred percent. Now listen, do not forget to send in your messages of support and your questions as well on YouTube and on Twitter and don't forget to hashtag Lionesses Live and it's about time that we introduce our first guest of our show here on Lionesses Live the first guest actually where we're going to be for the next few weeks I'm really excited about that it is the one and only Lionesses legend who went to five consecutive major tournaments with England and wins 63, sorry, winning 63 caps. Ooh. It's Laura Bassett. Hey! <laughs> Look at this, we are oh, in the presence you. of greatness. <laughs> yes, Laura, welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Laura. It's so good to see you. I know, I'm honoured to be the first guest, the first outsider or old-timer, aren't I? No, so, legend. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Listen, we spoke about this old-timer word, all right? And I'm just not having it. I told you I'm 55, all right? You're only as old as you feel, and we're youthful in our hearts. Okay, all right. You don't believe me? All right, forget about 55 bit, but... Honestly, <laughs> how are you feeling about kickoff tomorrow? Yeah, everything like you just said, just excited, can't wait. One more sleep, you know, we feel like we've been counting down for so long, one more sleep. So just think so excited for the players, you know, knowing what they feel like. Um, yeah, just they've done so much prep, so much hard work. Now it's game time. You've got to go and show what you're all about and it's the business time. So just so happy. I just hope that they know that they're love supported and we're all rooting for them. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you talk about the preparation there. I know you were commentating on some of the friendly games that have happened recently. How impressed are you by this squad? Because they're looking pretty fierce, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And, and obviously, you know, they've been so impressive under Serena Weigman. And there's been a few bumps and problems create, you know, for certain situations. But they just always overcome. They have an answer, whether it's a substitute, game plan, um, winning goal. They just have an answer to everything. So that's why it's so positive, because you just feel like the strength in depth, there's so many positives and that, yeah, they can just overcome anything. And look, things will be thrown at them in tournament football, the unexpected, but they've got the character, resilience and the experience to overcome it. That's right. And, you know, we know that it's a great squad, but who really stands out for you, Laura? Who are the ones to watch? Oh, well, oh, the biggest question yeah, ever. I'm tricky. not trying to start no drama here. You know, favourites. I need to know. You see how we word it? Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> 
Well, I suppose I was a defender, so I'm going to flip it and go the attackers. They really excite me. Who wouldn't I want to defend now? All of them, basically. I'm really impressed Serene Wagman took as many as we could get in the squad. Um, but yeah, you have to start at Lauren Hemp. You know, I would not want to defend. She's so quick, so good with the ball. Um, you know, Nikita Paris, Chloe Kelly, Beth England, the list goes on, you know, all of them. I just think that they all offer something different, whether that's personality or character-wise, the hard work, they understand the, the roles. And I just think if you're a defender from an opposing team going up against them, you have to do your homework. And there's a lot of homework and a lot of footage to watch on them. And I just think, yeah, you just wouldn't want to play against them in the form and the, the confidence that they're in. So, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, kind of, I've kind of swayed that one, haven't I? I've not really mentioned it. You've mentioned basically the whole squad. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what went on here. I'm a fangirl now. I've had my time. I'm a fangirl. So let's look back to when you were in the Lionesses. And obviously you got to the Euros final in 2009. So what was it like to be part of that squad and, and that kind of moment in football? history yeah because it's so many years ago it's yeah it's, it's hard to draw upon memories but that was my first tournament going so I'd missed out on a couple so that's be the first tournament so I mean I thought it was easy right rock up tournament silver medal I know but yeah we actually we you know we made it quite hard work in the group stages we won one drew one lost one um, so you know there was a, a few it wasn't expected for us to get to the final at all because only in the early 2000s did we start qualifying for tournaments so um, yeah, and then we managed, we got through, we finished third in the group, got through um, as a third place runner-up, um, got through, and then, you know, you just won and you get your confidence and we're at the final playing Germany, we've never beaten Germany and I just remember the, by then all the players were on the last legs, I think Kelly Smith had one leg and we were still giving her the ball, please score Kelly, please, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I just think, yeah, the second half of Germany, there were, at, at that time, there were streets ahead of us. Um, but I think it was a whole experience. Um, I think it gave Hope Powell, the manager at that time, you know, the impetus to go back to the FA and go back and keep fighting for us. Look, we've got a talented generation who, who can prove they can achieve things, get to the final. But actually, we're so far away in terms of Germany. We lost 6-2. Um, and deserve, you know, they were deserved winners, but it gave her the impetus to go, we need more funding, we need a better league, we need this, we need that, and to fight for it. And um, yeah, I think we're still paying the dividends from that. Yeah, and you were in that squad alongside Jill Scott, Scott, who is still in the England squad, 16 years deep. You know, what makes Jill so special? She's close to your age. If you're 55, she, I want to oh. see her passport. She must be no way, no way. Oh, yeah, I just think, like, she's... Uh, I think Jill Scott has respect from everybody she meets. She just had this aura and personality. She brings people together, staff, media. She can relate to anybody, however old they are. Um, it's a real special quality because I think sometimes we focus so much about on pitch in terms of the technical ability, fitness and experience of players, but actually sometimes the character to, to gel everyone together and um, I just think she can sit down and have a coffee with anyone well she loves a coffee we all know she that yeah. coffee shop <laughs> and you were there the other day uh, as yeah, well I was yeah, yeah. Um, I went there with my daughter and uh, just to have my pre-tournament coffee which everyone's got to do right <laughs> that's a good luck charm and uh, she, yeah she'd left my daughter a, an England kit so she's kitted out in the latest one so I mean that I asked if there's one for me I'm still I'm no. still waiting for it well otherwise I would have wore it today but <laughs> yeah. Jill though, what an absolute legend. She did come on yesterday and, uh, and drop a few bars actually in a rap oh, yeah. battle. So have you got something prepared? Mm, oh, I didn't get the memo. I didn't know oh, that right. that was okay. time. Well, while you think of some lines, let's <laughs> look back at when you were in the 2017 Euros. Obviously so many familiar faces in that squad. It was Frank Herbie, Lucy Bronze, Millie Bright, Ellen White. So what are your memories of that team? Yeah, a, a really uh, fun, fun group, mm. them characters. Them, them players you mentioned are fun, really charismatic, lots of personality. Um, I just remember this being a really close unit. I'm sure they're, they're even closer now knowing what's expected from a team. But um, just in terms of, you know, we would push each other on the training pitch. You know, if someone was in your, in your ahead of you in your position, it would be about, you know, making each other better, fighting for it. Because when we go out and play against other nations, we need to be the best, most tight-knit, competitive group. And we just had that respect for each other. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully they've gained on that and we reached the semi-final. So hopefully 
one more. That's the plan. Oh, that's, <laughs> it. that's it. Yeah, we keep touching wood. And Ellen White, you mentioned there. Obviously, you played with her at club level as well for Notts County as well. And you two, oh my goodness me, responsible for one of the most famous free kicks love it. of all time. <laughs> I love, I it love so this. I absolutely love it. It was like straight off the training ground, oh. executed beautifully. And it just makes me laugh as well. So look, it's we've so got it. Funny. We've got it here. But, I mean, you have to. I didn't actually touch the ball. I was just meant to look angry and shout at no, but that's Alex Greenwood. Skills. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a BAFTA, it was award winning, well, honestly. When you guys rehearsed that in training, like, was it a funny thing? Like, haha, we're going to oh, do this. The day, we were awful. <laughs> Alex and Ellen kept giggling. They couldn't take you serious. They were like, you're too... I was like, no, you've got to get into role. You do. Ellen didn't... When we got that bit right, Ellen missed the target. It just... All the pieces did not connect. And then I don't know... I don't know how brave we were thinking yeah. on that day. We just took it and... Just felt yeah. right. But I, do you think they should do it in the tournament? This, I think. Because they've got Alex and Ellen there. They just need someone to take. Yeah. Who, okay. Who are you assigning to be you? Oh. To be the angry person at the start? I think there could be a few, but I think my money would be on Rach Daly. I think she could perform. Yeah. She's got a lot of angst. I think she could perform it best. Right. There you go. I've handed the baton <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> now we're about to speak to Mary Earps shortly, who was named in that provisional 2017 Euro squad with you. What was your first impressions of Mary? Yeah, just Mary was always great in camp, uh, really bubbly personality, um, would chat to anyone, really just kind of like loved to be in the thick of it, loved to be laughing, smiling um, and added a lot of quality. You know, she has high standards mm -hmm. um, and I think it's been great to see her grow into the role that she's got today. It's been fantastic in her journey. But yeah, just a real good, good team player to have in the, have in the camp. Right, and speaking of Mary as well, do not forget to send in your questions and messages of support on YouTube and on Twitter, and do not forget to hashtag Lionesses Live. Now, we were talking about the, that tournament, and obviously we were unfortunately defeated in the semi-finals by the Netherlands, who were coached by none other than a certain Serena Vigman, obviously mm. now our coach. I mean, what do you think she's brought to this, this England team? Yeah, well, I think because England have reached, you know, a few semi-finals, you, you want your leader, the manager, to kind of been there, done it. And she's probably the first manager that we've had for the Lionesses that has got that. She can show her medals, she can talk, you know, at, at length about how they did it, what she thinks. So I think, you know, there's ultimately that, that, that respect there from everyone, staff, players, fans, media. Um, but yeah, I think... Um, Certainly, she's just very polite, very well mannered, but knows her stuff, and and she's managed to get a, get a team together and, and ready. But yeah, I just think ultimately she's been there, done it. She's she's the boss, isn't she? She leads the way. She is the boss. Absolutely. <laughs> we trust her. We trust her yeah, implicitly. We, <laughs> in Serena, we trust. Exactly. That. <laughs> That's right. And um, you made your debut in two thousand and three, right? Don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> How is it to see the growth and progression of women's football since then? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, first of all, it's a, it's a privilege to be a part of it. Just to sm have played a small part, it's amazing um, to leave it in a better place. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think it's worlds apart. I don't even think that you can sum it up because if you look at every area, um, it's just developed so fast. So, but also it has took a lot of hard work. There's a lot of people at the FA, a lot of people at clubs, players, the, the whole roles, everyone's played their part. It hasn't just been given to people. They've worked, had to work hard, sacrifice. Um, but yeah, but just to still be a part of it as a fan. Um, and a legend. <laughs> Yeah, going to get a legend. Do you walk around your house like, I'm a legend? That's right. My daughter won't let me do that. Ah! Absolutely not, no. Your daughter humbles you, I'm no, sure. Yeah. Well, listen, Laura, thank you so much for chatting to us. Don't go anywhere. You're with us, OK, for the rest of the show. But I do think it's time that we introduce who we've been talking about all this time. Mary Earps, live from Manchester. Mm -hmm. Mary, welcome to Lionesses Live, connected Woo! by E.E. Mary, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. I've been like for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Just chatting on and on. How are you feeling ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, good. Obviously, back in Manchester, which feels feels nice. Uh, me, Tooney and Les were just talking about how it kind of feels like home and... Um, so it's just really nice to be in a place that's familiar and obviously we've got a, a big game ahead of us tomorrow. That's You've right. been in camp a little You've while now as well. Were you just like, come on, let's get started. I want to do this. Yeah, kind of. I think like this last week's obviously been um, a bit of a waiting game. Um, 
but I think before that it was just we had like step, steps and processes that we needed to go through mm-hmm. um, and we were just kind of chomping at the bit to go through every single one uh, but yeah now the last week especially you know you try not to look too far ahead but you know it's like creeping on the horizon so everyone's chomping at the bit to get going. But I mean, you did just say, you know, Old Trafford, you feel at home. Does it make that a little bit easier that it's the first game at Old Trafford? I think it just makes it that little bit more special for the for the home players, if you like. But we're all home, you know, England's just amazing. And I can't wait to see the fans show up in numbers tomorrow. Um, but yeah, definitely. I know the, the United fans will be coming strong as they always do at Old Trafford they take that stuff very very seriously so uh, for us to have sort of been in there been in the stadium before um, I think it just gives us that little bit of a familiar feel. You know it's going to be noisy in there a sellout crowd over 74,000 people in attendance I mean how important are these home fans for the game? Oh so important Um, I think whenever we've played in packed packed crowds that obviously makes it super difficult for us to communicate with one another but we wouldn't have it any other way like voice is gone at the end of the game but these are the moments in the games that you live for um, and we just want to represent the badge um, as best as we can with pride um, and make sure that we make everybody proud who comes out to watch and who watches on tv as well now mary you're england's number one yeah number one <laughs> How did it feel when you got that call? <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit, a bit mad, to be honest. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy year. Um, I think I've spoken on it a little bit. Like, I didn't really anticipate ever really being in an England shirt again. And I just tried to make the most of every single day in camp, um, sort of ever since I got called back in by Serena. And we're here now, and I'm just so grateful for... The, the ups and downs that I've had, the journeys that I've been on, because I think it's made me a stronger person and a stronger player and even more grateful for every single time I get to kick a ball um, wearing this shirt. I just absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, the fact that maybe you didn't think you were going to be selected in a way, does that mean you're kind of pinching yourself and it, and it feels a bit sweeter? Yeah, I think the people who sort of saw kind of a little bit of what I went through, they, they're the ones that kind of know really how much this means to me and how much blood sweat and tears has gone into it um but yeah i never expected it um i never expected nothing um from from that point um a few years ago so i just was trying to go out and do my best for united and then a year on like after getting called back in i'm here and i don't know it's weird it's like weird to reflect with my family but i feel like i'll think about it after the tournament probably but right now i'm just like zoned in on the job that I've got to do and what we as a team have got to do and um, yeah I'm grateful for it all I I value it all so much Um, and I'm just really excited that that I'm in this position. Oh amazing I mean you speak of the team we've seen the goalkeepers union in training are you guys like really having fun and pushing and challenging each other? Nah, it's all fake that. We just, we just switch that on. Uh, I thought no. so. That's why I asked. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the real juice. Yeah, yeah. No, like, we, we know when the cameras are pointing on us. Do you know what I mean? So we just, like, smile and just, like, <laughs> 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 no, like we have like we genuinely have like such a good group. I feel like people are probably sick of me saying it and they probably think I'm lying. But genuinely we push each other really hard in training. And um, we challenge each other and we'll ask each other opinions on things. Like there's no it doesn't matter like where we've come from or what we've been through. We're we're super even in that way. Uh, but we also like to give a bit of stick and a bit of banter when it goes bass nose. We we like to give it out a little bit and um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, just creates like a really fun environment where we know what we're here to do and the job is super serious and super intense. Uh, but internally, obviously, we want to make sure that we're having a good time and being present and making sure we're making memories along the way. And that's kind of what I sort of stand for in that sense that I'm a grafter. Like, trust me, I'm a grafter, but I also want to appreciate every day and not take a single moment for granted, like, and just enjoy being on the ball and um, training with these incredible players like the goalkeepers the, the group is so strong like the level is so high and I think that really tra- challenges you and as an individual that you want to bring your A game every day every every day every day some people love that oh my god every day <laughs> prepare to be an internet <laughs> sensation oh my god 
I mean, you're already an internet sensation, actually. You are the self-proclaimed TikTok queen, mm -hmm. right? I had a bit of a gander on your profile as well. And you're oh, teaching yeah. your teammates dances. You know, we got the bed bugs as well. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. They didn't quite get it, though, did they, Mary? <laughs> in the background on that please look at Rachel like what is what is no. that when I say they didn't quite get it it's really Rach that I'm looking at I'm wondering if there was yeah. music playing were you all like dancing to a different beat what 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 was going on <laughs> don't don't let her tell it any differently me and Millie are, are on the beat and Rach is zombieing out some some kind yeah. of way she said yeah. she wanted more practice goes but I, I mean it was literally just one two and then step twice like i don't know why she needed the practice but it's fun it's fun anyway yeah <laughs> next time next time we'll join the squad yeah i think we really. can bring bring a, a little something but talking about your teammates they did tell me recently that you were you're a bit of a practical joker is that fair am i no <laughs> i never you no no no, no. Come on, tell us some of your best, because uh, this is a bit of us, isn't it? Yeah, love we this love stuff. this. I need ideas. I, I don't know about that. I don't even think about it. I, I, no, I don't take anyone anything or anything too seriously. Um, I'll, I'll jump out and scare people from time to time, but <laughs> nothing, nothing. You should expect that from me, really, but yeah, no. <laughs> expect me to be hiding in the closet when you come in the room. <laughs> If that's what you want to do, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, well, listen, we've been asking the fans to send some questions directed to you. So we're going to get to those right now. Um, and I'll kick off with Erica Della Garza has asked, if you had to be a teammate for the day, who would it be? That's a really good Ooh. question. That is so, so good. You know what? I'd probably be Alessia, right? Because honestly, I have no idea how her brain works. She is hilarious with zero <laughs> zero intention right the girl will just like honestly i think where are you like it's fantastic <laughs> love that all right the next question is from rhapsodiski uh, can we expect any more tiktoks throughout the euro see people loving the tiktoks when's the content coming <laughs> Listen, people are saying I'm self proclaimed That's the label I've been given. I'm just trying to live up to the name. You know what I mean? It's a big, big crown to wear. Yeah, of course, I think like we're, we're here to make memories as well. I'm sure there'll be a few along the way, but business first as always. So um, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled. But we've got a lot on this summer, so give us a chance. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. At the moment, yeah. yeah, you got things to do. Um, all right, Ellie Green has asked, how does it feel, Mary, hearing people chant your song? Uh, yeah, a bit. In, yeah, especially Manchester United fans. Oh. Yeah, I know. Ellie Green's a big United fan. Um, hi, Ellie, how you doing? Uh -huh. um, and... Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, we played at Old Trafford uh, in March against Everton, and um, it felt like the stadium was full, and I'm sure there was about 20, 25,000 there. So tomorrow, I actually can't imagine what it's going to be like. I'm sure they'll be passing out, like, the... I don't want to say hymn sheets. What do you call them? Chant sheets. <laughs> they, they, they actually do that. The Barmy Army actually do that. My mum and dad sometimes come home with sheets. I'm like, what are you oh, doing? I always like, wondered how everyone knew the same song. <laughs> That's a secret. Literally lyrics on a sheet of paper I'm not even bantering like genuine it's <laughs> top level stuff <laughs> um, one more question who's going to be the lucky person I'm going to go for the elusive ginger what a great name uh, is there anything that you do in the dressing room before you walk out to a, a match like how do you get pumped um, I'm kind of one of those people that goes into my own little zone to be honest with you I have like my own personal music on and I have a few notes on my phone to give me a few like reminders um, of what my focuses and objectives are um, but yeah, it's mostly just jamming to a to one of my playlists that um, that I'm loving at that moment, and uh, just getting in the zone for the game. Who's who's top of the playlist? Yeah, we need to know we this. need to know these what things. are the bangers being blasted out. I've actually got a playlist out. I don't even I don't think I'm allowed to say what what okay. what platform okay. it's on, but it's somewhere on the internet that came out today, and oh. there's a few. Um, I mean, it's on Spotify too. Am I allowed to use my phone on these? I am doing it. Anyway. Oops, sorry. Um, you could just find it. You could so, find it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's on there, guys. It's called Summer 2022. If you want, oh, if you want, to, all yes. right, we're on that. I'm getting involved. It's on, it, it's on. It's on TikTok, and they asked me to put a playlist together, but I already had one. All I'm right. ready, so it's fine. Nice. So, um, 
I, I like IFTK, that one, the Tian Wayne and LaRue like re mashup remix yeah. thing. That's amazing for the kill. Yeah, that's um, energy. I like the Goddard remix of Cat Burns Go. That one is a, oh, is a yeah. big I love that song anyway, and that remix is... Big vibe. Uh, the Chris Brown Till the Wheels Fall Off. I don't know why, I just really like that. It's just good. <laughs> yeah. um, Soul Beyonce is obviously big at the moment. Oh, Slow down, Tom. Yeah. Ice by Grace. There's a lot. That, there's, sounds, there's a lot. that sounds like a banging playlist. So you guys need to get into that. I mean, I'm convinced <laughs> now, Mary, you're a footballer extraordinaire and a dancer, possibly a DJ with all the those picks. Dancing strong. I'm not sure I've got the rhythm to be a dancer, but I can construct a <laughs> playlist. So Choreographer. That is. <laughs> we love it <laughs> listen mary i know you've got things to do we don't want to keep you too long thank you so much for joining us here on lionesses live and i'm going to see you soon in person next time you know where we could really vibe and do a couple a little move yeah, share a few songs you know <laughs> I've been told I've been summoned to the base camp Lionesses Live, so it is what yes. it is. I just do as I'm told. It, it needs so to absolutely happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Good to talk to you guys. Take care. Take Good care. Luck. Bye. Tomorrow. Good See luck. ya. <laughs> right. So it kicks off in just over 24 <laughs> hours. Uh, how excited <sighs> are we? Laura, do you feel like we're going to start really good and strong? Yeah, I do. I think Austria, it will be tough. Look, you know, they're not going to, they want to spoil the party, aren't they? Mm. But I just feel like these girls have been waiting for this game forever. All the prep's done. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really positive about it. Really Good. positive. How are you feeling, Abby? I'm feeling really confident as well. Let's manifest that, that yeah. win. I, I do think we're going to get three points on the board and get off to a good start. Three of us, three points. You know, three nil, saying, three nil. It might be all the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where are you watching it tomorrow? So I'm watching it with a bunch of friends. We're going to get the projector out so we can see it nice and big, get nice. a pizza in, get some beers in, and yeah, cheer on the girls. That's what we like. What about you, Laura? I mean, that sounds good, and I, but I didn't get an invite. So I'm there. I'm there. I've got oh, my ticket. Better, I'm there, yeah. living my best life. England shirt on. Nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, you know what? We did remember that uh, you didn't have an England shirt from Jill Scott. I don't know why she didn't give it to you. I don't know if oh, there's any drama <laughs> there, you know, but... We do have an oh, English shirt, but we've got you. you. We have oh, absolutely that was a great got throw. you. I mean, look at this. Oh, oh personalised and yes. everything. Oh, there we amazing. go. So wear that. Oh, I'm wearing Cheer it. Cheer on Send the girls tomorrow. Thank you very much. Love it. It's lovely. You're Thank welcome. You. Picked it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on tomorrow's show, we want to see your messages of support for the team loud and clear. All right. Even send us your setups kicking off the tournament in style. And that's whether you're in the living room decorated with a whole load of England flags. If you're with your mates at the local pub or on the down low on a sneaky screen at work. Listen, do what you have to do. All right. Just make sure you comment and tweet using the hashtag Lionesses Live. So we can take a look at how everyone's getting behind the team tomorrow. Abby, are you going to send us a pic? I promise. If everyone else does, I like being nosy and seeing where everyone's watching it, you know? All right, good, <laughs> good, good. That's absolutely what I need to see. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much, Abby. I'm going to see you on Thursday. Yes, and we'll be talking about that win. That win! <laughs> We're going to be seeing Abby after every match day, by the way. So just expect to be seeing this lovely face. And thank you so much, Laura. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Look, the sun's even come out. That. <laughs> That's good vibes. Yes, thank you so much. And you, you know, you're the first guest on Lionesses Live. It's good The only vibes. way's up from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in the meantime, guys, join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. right here on Lionesses Live, connected by EE, where we'll be getting the excitement excitement building with a couple of special guests just a few hours before England kick off this game-changing home tournament and Josh will be back joining me too to check out our new home and no Laura the only way isn't up all right you're <laughs> up enough and we'll see you then thank you so much for watching <laughs>